Working in this Python code snippet, today we'll be focusing in on the decision structures. Now in programming, there are three major structures that we use. The first one is the if-then statement, the second is the if-then-else, and the third one is known as a case statement, or a switch, or an elif in the Python syntax. So how does it work? Well, we're going to focus firstly on the if-then statement. So we have an if condition, then do this. So the if statement uses what's known as a Boolean condition to determine if the answer is true or false. So for an example, if age is greater than 12, then print teenager. So if age is 11, that's not greater than 12. That condition, age greater than 12, will result in a false. But if we put in 13, because 13 is greater than 12, it then becomes true, the condition becomes true, and it does the then part. Now, Boolean conditions use the following syntax. Is x greater than y? Is x greater than or equal to y? x is less than y? x is less than or equal to y? x is equal to y? x is absolutely equal to y? Or sometimes you just see x is equal to y. In our syntax, we'll be using the x equal equals or the x equal equal equals, where it has to be an absolute. This one's very good for passwords. And then you have not equal to y. Now we're using x just to make it easy, but that could be one variable and another variable. So is this variable equal to this variable? Now if you get confused about greater than less than, one of the easiest way to remember is the crocodile eats the greater one. So 67 is less than 76, and 76 is greater than 67. So x is greater than y because the crocodile is eating the x. x is less than y because y is greater than x because the crocodile is eating the bigger number. So let's have a look at the if then else statement in action. So I'm using PyCharm and I'll put some details in the comments below where you can download this IDE. I'm just going to right mouse click and go to new and go to Python file. I'm going to give it a name of if then and press enter. Now one of the first things I'm going to do is put in a developer comment. Now it's a good idea that you put your name at the top, you can also put the date and other details. It is just good programming etiquette to put your name in your code. Now one of the very first things we want to do, if we want to do, if you're a teenager or not, is let's just set a variable. Let's go age is equal to 12. And then we want to use the if statement. So if age is greater than 12, then so at the end of the statement of an if statement, you must have the colon. Then we can go print teenager, uh, you are a teenager. And then I'm going to put a comment at the end and just go print quote end of program. So let's run this program by going right mouse click and run if then. In my output, we've got end of program. So we didn't get this print statement here, if age is greater than 12. Now we've set age to 12. Because age is not greater than 12, it's going to result false, because they're equal to. So if I change this now to 14 and run the program, you are a teenager. Now, if age 14 is greater than 12, it results true, then it does the then part. If I change age to 11, and run the program. You notice that it just runs end of program and doesn't actually execute the then part. If the condition here is false, it then skips over the then part, continues on with the program, which is print end of program. So in this tutorial, we've looked at the if then statement where a condition is set up using a Boolean operand. And depending on if it's true or false, if it's true, it does the then part. If it's false, it continues on with the program. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Python programming tutorials.